With every mile it passed over the Pacific, the radar signaled a warning about a storm of historic proportion. The physics was terrifying. A record time drop in atmospheric pressure essentially created a massive vacuum, then a swirling storm that underwent bombogenesis, creating what's known as a bomb cyclone. Here's the culprit. This storm system sitting off the coast looks remarkably like a hurricane. King 5 meteorologists warned of damaging winds. And by nightfall on November 19th, those warnings became reality. Uh-oh, did you notice that? We just lost power. The street light just went out. The strongest hurricane force gusts ripped through western Washington, hitting East King County the hardest, uprooting trees, sending debris flying. In Seattle, a metro bus took a direct hit. I heard a big crack and a boom. It happened really quickly. Across the region, disaster struck. All many could do was hunker down for the night and wait out the storm in the darkness. Not even our mountain passes were spared with a rare blizzard warning also in effect. Blowing snow is the big concern out here, creating those visibility issues. It was a long night. At dawn, the scope of the damage was coming into focus. I was shocked to see so many power outages. But look at all the east side red here, all of those spots marking a substation or a power outage of some kind. Puget Sound Energy estimates 400 miles of its transmission lines were tangled or destroyed in the winds. Utility crews across the region scrambled to keep up, and in many cases it was still too dangerous to be working. At the height of the storm, nearly one million homes and businesses were without electricity, and it was clear some would be without power for days or weeks. I did not expect this level of disaster. Countless buildings were damaged or destroyed, including this century-old church in Hoquiam. This is a miracle in the sense that no one got injured. We also learned of the storm's first victims. In Linwood, a woman in her 50s seeking refuge in a homeless encampment was tragically killed by a falling tree. Oh my God. And in Bellevue's Bridal Trails neighborhood, a crashing tree killed a 65-year-old woman in her home. And in the days that followed, the cleanup. We were very fortunate how and where it fell on that corner. Neighborhood after neighborhood was buried, trees and branches. And now the wind and the storm is continuing and coming back around, so it's adding to the mess. And neighbors without electricity were left leaning on each other, waiting for hundreds of utility crews to try and recover the power. We have a neighborhood here that we'll, we'll look out for each other and, and we'll, we'll get through this. Our King 5 cameras captured incredible damage and close calls. In Kingston, a 275-foot tree made easy work of this family home. So this is the kitchen. The destruction was just staggering. As far back as records go, a cyclone as strong as the 2024 bomb cyclone is the strongest ever to hit in the month of November. There's no words to explain <laughs> how we feel. Reminding us all about the overwhelming power of nature anytime. Anywhere. Jake Whitman, King 5 News.